In this video, I am talking about the new Sigma 85mm f1.4 DG DN lens. My name is Pav and I'm a professional photographer and filmmaker and on this channel I talk mainly about photography and video gear so if that's your thing then please consider subscribing now. This is one of the new line smaller and lighter Sigma lenses for Sony ENL mounts. This is certainly a smaller lens than the previous 85mm from Sigma but does it deliver the quality we all expected from the R lenses? And before we find out, I must say massive thanks to Sigma UK for lending me this lens for this review. However, I am not being paid and I wasn't asked to say anything specific, so this is my honest and unbiased opinion about it. Their performance is really outstanding. When it matters, this lens really delivers. As expected from the lens of this class, photos are super sharp. It also delivers a really top-notch colors and contrast. There's almost, almost no chromatic aberration, just a tiny bit, but nothing that can be fixed in post. Also point to note is that they have really focused here on the sharpness, which is outstanding. But to keep the weight and the size down, the lens only partially corrects vignetting and the lens distortion. Sony cameras will fix the pin cushion distortion internally if you are shooting JPEG or video with this lens, but if you are shooting RAW photos like me, this will have to be fixed in post. This lens is still fairly new on the market and as of time of recording this review there is no lens profile available from Adobe to do automatic distortion correction but I am sure that it is coming to Lightroom and Photoshop very soon. This is not a big issue at all in my opinion as it is easily very easily corrected manually in edit anyway. There is some light vignetting in the corners with the aperture wide open but that will only show if you are shooting sky for example or very bright scenes. Easily avoided by closing the aperture just a tiny bit in those rare situations when vignetting actually shows on your images. I only noticed it once and I have shot literally hundreds of photos with it already. I had no issues autofocusing with this lens at all. It is quick and very reliable and it works as any premium, premium Sony lens would on your Sony camera. One thing that always frustrates me with 85mm lenses, and this is no exception, is the focusing distance. It is great for portrait and general run of the mill photography and videography, but it doesn't let you get too close to your subject and photograph anything small. With this level of sharpness and the bokeh you get with this, I'd really like to be able to get closer to products or to be able to shoot food, uh, food photography for example, but it is not that simple with this lens. The minimum focusing distance is actually 80 five centimeters or 33.5 inch so if you are planning to get close and personal to your subject this might not be for you. Talking about bokeh it is really nice it has got that high-end look to it with a tiny bit of swelling uh, this is due to the 11 aperture blades and rounded diaphragm construction certainly on level with much more expensive G Master lenses in my personal opinion. This lens has got no built-in stabilization so you will have to rely on camera's built-in IBIS. I don't think it's a deal breaker by, by any means. At this focal length you are going to get some handheld shake if you do have built-in stabilization or not. Probably more noticeable when filming with it but I had no issues with it on a7 III. No more handshake than expected at this focal length anyway. The auto focusing with video is very good and it deals really well even with difficult scenarios. It auto focuses smoothly to deliver more organic feel to focus changes and there is no visible focus hunting. Really good choice if you do rely heavily on autofocus when filming and on reliable performance. Focusing manually is a pleasure to do. The focus ring is large and nicely firm and smooth to turn even though it is focused by wire. There's no hard stops because it's focused by wire on either end of the focus travel and there is no focus breathing that I have noticed. 
lens also communicates with the Sony cameras uh, correctly and gives you the direct manual focus DM DMF enlargement to help fine tune those macro focus adjustments manually. I think that most likely a lot of people be comparing this uh, to Sony F1.8 FE lens. But in fact, in my opinion, it is more comparable, actually more comparable to Sony 85 F1.4 G master lens. The build quality is excellent here. Heavy, but not usual Sigma heavy. It weighs 630 gram, which is half of what the old 85 millimeter art was before. It is uh, 94 millimeters long uh, without the supplied hood that and about 145 millimeters with the hood big front glass element 77 millimeter filter thread and dust and splash proof weather sealing solid feel construction and what's becoming new sigma's standard controls autofocus on and off switch focus hold button that can be programmed to various different functions via the camera lock lock and lock uh, switch to lock the aperture into a auto mode or in manual so it doesn't go into auto so you can't accidentally change it and the click on and off switch to the click the aperture ring for those who want smooth and silent aperture changes when filming this lens retails for £1,000 in UK or about $1,200 in US. Yes, it is twice more expensive than Sony F1.8 lens, but this is F1.4 and that makes it significantly cheaper than the Sony F1.4 G Master lens. Who is it for? Certainly it is for anyone who wants a high quality portrait lens delivering super sharp results combined with very nice creamy and slightly swirly bokeh maybe it's not the most versatile lens of all time but certainly good enough focal length for most of everyday situations i'd like to see closer focusing distance even tiny little bit for me that would make it more usable in more varied scenarios but it is what it is the conclusion the quality this delivers is on par with more expensive premium lenses and i really dig this new smaller and trendier new sigma look i really hope there will be more of these coming from sigma soon as they really are redefining the new modern standard in the lens build and performance quality i love to see new redesigned 50 millimeter art please sigma i think it's it's time it's definitely time and this is it from me uh, once again massive thanks to sigma uk for letting me uh, play with this lens and don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like this video and if you are interested in this kind of content photography uh, video cameras lenses reviews and very very occasional tutorial then please consider subscribing thanks for watching and i'll see you next time at this focal length you are going to get some hand hand <laughs> That was a lot of words. Hey, clickety clickety. Smoothie smoothie. Boom. Premium is the word. Do I sound like a robot on this video? Maybe I do.